we are going to be replacing a sealed unit in this particular window because the ventilation in the room isn't adequate with the small holes that have been drilled to act as trickle vents at the top of the window. The first thing we're going to do is to make absolutely sure things are out of the way and then get a very sharp chisel or a very sharp wide bladed screwdriver and we will use that to prise out the beads from around the window. Beads will normally clip in to the frame once the glass is in so to get them out we just have to reverse that procedure and using the chisel to pull out from the middle and then the beads will unclip from the frame. Obviously we're going to do this all the way around the window, but it's important to remember to leave the top bead in until last, and then you're not surprised by the pain the sealed unit falling out on top of you. So very carefully, lever the beads out, being careful not to damage the rubber which sometimes sticks itself to the window. And there you can see how they pull out nice and easily, that's the top one coming out. Then we'll drop the paint out and put that somewhere safe. And there you can see that's a 25mm sealed unit. Clear the debris. Um, away. It's surprising how many bits of dust and flies and all sorts of things find their way in. Look for the British Standard mark on the bottom of the sealed unit. You can see what that British Standard mark should be in the description. And then using some spaces underneath the sealed unit, make sure that the sealed unit is absolutely square in the frame in which you're placing it. You can see this one has got a mechanical air vent in there to, re to make sure that the, uh, the room is ventilated. Here's a little tip. When you're putting the beads back, put a little bit of washing up liquid along the rubber of the bead and that will then allow you to slide that rubber along the glass when necessary to clip it back into the frame. There are lots of ways beads clip back into frames. This particular one is a straightforward push fit as it were. So we're using a block of wood to push up on the bead to avoid damaging the edge of the frame. And the fairy liquid allows that rubber to slide easily up the glass. If that fairy liquid wasn't there, sometimes the rubber bites into the glass and it can damage the rubber and make it a bit more difficult to fit. So the top one's going back in first. We're going to put these back in almost in reverse order. Um, and then slide. You can see how the bead fits clips into the frame. Push the corner in first. Push down on the bead. Give it a tap. And there really is a most satisfying click as it clicks into place. Repeat that obviously with all of the beads. Don't forget the fairy liquid. Just a little drop and that keeps the rubber sliding down the, the glass nicely. When you come to the sides having put the top and bottom in, you'll see that uh, the previous glazer, previous installer, has chopped a little bit off the corner of the bead. Um, that's not detrimental at all. It just allows the bead to slot into the mitre a lot more easily. And as you can see, there's a really, really snug fit. So get both corners in first, both mitres in first, and then tap from the middle down to the corner to make absolutely sure of a really snug fit. And there we have a completed double glazed sealed unit fitted in. If you want to subscribe to our videos, you can win lots of prizes and get advance warning of all of our videos. Thanks for watching.